Taking a live look now in downtown Wilmington, work is underway right now to restore a piece of history to the city's downtown roads. Crews are restoring the bricks buried beneath a block of South Front Street. WECT's Axolon is live on that road between Queen and Castle Streets where the project started today. Zach, drivers will have to find a different way for months. Yes, Fran, work started today. Crews wrapped up about an hour ago, so the road is open right now. You can see some of the bricks have already been revealed through the work today, but I'm told this work is going to go full time later this week, and that's when uh, drivers will have to find a detour, not just during the day, but all hours of the day come later this week. I'm told this is all part of an effort to restore the history on the roads of downtown Wilmington. It's just really a classic story of when you dig, in historic downtown Wilmington, you don't always know what you're going to find. It's out with the new and in with the old as brick roads are restored in Wilmington. Crews started to dig up pavement on this block between Queen and Castle Streets Monday morning. According to city policy and funding to support it, we will identify streets that have bricks beneath the asphalt and instead of simply repaving them, they will come along and scrape the asphalt off the bricks and then there's work that has to be done with the existing bricks to restore that bed. City spokesperson Dylan Lee says that's why they are sticking with bricks instead of asphalt. The city will use a supply of its own history to fill in any gaps. There will be some replacement. In, in that case, we use actual uh, old historic bricks to bring it in. So the replaced bricks uh, match the existing bricks. As brick restoration projects continue over the coming years, more streets will look like they did in the early days of the port city. Well, the city has allocated money towards the brick rehabilitation of these streets, and in this year's budget, there's $900,000 dedicated to that. Uh, this would be the second block that we've taken on in this fiscal year, and we anticipate being able to do at least one more uh, with this year's budget, and then we just keep clawing away uh, year after year. One of the state's most historic cities building on that legacy brick by brick. Lee says the project is expected to take about seven to eight weeks to complete. We will keep you updated on that progress. As far as a detour, officials say you'll have to go around Surrey Street if you want to avoid this block here between Queen and Castle Streets. If you're headed into downtown from South Front Street, the ramp to get onto the Cape Fear Memorial Bridge is still open. Fran. All right, that's good news. Thanks so much, Zach.